What's up, Shepherd Youth? My name is Gio. Today, I want to share with you five characteristics you should look for in a friend. Number one, you want a friend who's going to be kind to you. Um, you don't want jerk bag friends, straight up like that. You don't want a friend who's constantly picking on you, constantly teasing you, constantly hazing you. That's not a friend. That's a bully. And, and sometimes it's hard to tell the difference, right? Uh, because sometimes they seem like they're a friend to us, but really when they're, when it, when, uh, when, when they're picking on people or when, when, when roast sessions are happening, it seems like we're always the one that's getting roasted. We're always the one that's the butt of the joke. We're always the one who is getting picked on. That's not a friend. That's a bully. You want someone who's going to be kind to you, someone who cares about your well-being, and someone who cares about the well-being of others. You don't want someone who's only looking out for their own good, who only cares about themselves, and who doesn't really care about other people around them. Right? Now, don't hear me saying... Don't hear me saying you can't have a roast session. Sometimes a good roast session, it goes a long way and it could be a healthy thing. But as long as there's a back and forth there, right? You don't want to be the only one getting roasted and you don't want to be the only one who's roasting other people. But sometimes a healthy roast session can go a long way. Uh, number two, you want a friend who's going to be, who's going to call you out on your mess. Just how I was talking about, if you're the guy who's bullying people, picking on people, and, and just constantly roasting other people, being a jerk to people, you want someone who's gonna tell you, hey, cut that out. Like, you're being a jerk, you need to stop that. Or if you're, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, say you're cheating on a test, and you, you want a friend who's gonna be like, hey, uh, what are you doing? Like, you know this ain't right. You know you ought not to be doing that. You know you shouldn't be doing that. You know, you know that, you know, we're better than this. We don't need to be doing that. So you want someone who's going to call you out, who's going to tell you like it is, who's going to be honest with you, and who's going to tell you straight up when you're messing up and when you need to be checked. You want a friend who's going to check you. You don't want to hang out with a bunch of yes men who tell you everything you want to hear and tell you whatever it is, like, you know, just a bunch of followers. You don't want that. It, it, and it's going to be, it's, it's, it's easy to want that, you know? We want people who just, you know, are on our side, who we feel like, you know, they got our backs. But at the end of the day, those guys don't got your back. They're just yes men and they're just following you. Uh, number three, you want someone who's going to be loyal. You want a friend who, when times are tough, you know you could count on them uh, to, to be there for you, to have your back, to, you know, you know you can lean on them when things are going rough. And, uh, you know, you don't want a friend who's, you know, when things are going rough and you need help, like they they disappear. You call them up and like you can't get a hold of them. You text them. You got no response back. You want someone who's gonna be there for you. Um, at the same time, you want to be there for people for your friends. You know, it's a back and forth. Uh, you you want someone who when 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 you need a hand, you know you can count on this person. You know you could depend on this person. You know you can share things with this person because you trust them. You know that they're loyal and you know that they're a good friend to you. Um, Number four, and this one has been personally, you know, helpful for me recently and, and, and just everything I've got going on. Uh, you want a friend and, and the first three are very important, you know, just in a friend. This one is more of like, you know, for myself, this is important, but you want to find a friend who consistently does what you want to do consistently. Now, that might sound a little bit confusing, but say you want to be more consistent about reading your guitar, I'm reading your Bible, sorry, uh, or you want to more be more con consistent or a better guitar player, uh, you're going to want to hang out with people who do that consistently, right? If someone, if you, if you want to get better at guitar, you want to hang out with guitar players. If you want to be better about reading your Bible, you want to hang out with people who read their Bible. Um, it's personally for me, I, I I wanted to go to the gym more often, and so my buddy Oscar goes to the gym every day of the week at 2:30, and so every day at 2:30, five times a week, I go I go up to him at 2:30. I'm like, hey Oscar, you ready to go to the gym? He's he's ready to go. He takes me to the gym and we work out together, right? My buddy Dave, he's like three weeks ahead on his classes, on his assignments, and so to get caught up, you know, to 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 get ahead on my assignments, I go to Dave. I'm like, Hey Dave, when are you going to the library today? Okay. I'll be there. Done. Right. So what I'm saying is you want to hang out with friends who consistently do what you're trying to be consistent at doing. Right. And lastly, number five, you want a friend 
who's following Jesus. This is the most important thing, right? Because all these other things fall under this same umbrella, right? Um, you want a friend who's faithful in their walk with Jesus and who's constantly trying to grow and trying to follow Jesus. Uh, you want a friend who's devoted to reading the scriptures, to praying and to spending time with Jesus. Um, it seems like a simple thing, right? But, you know, this is above all, you know, this is by far the most important thing. And that's not to say, don't hear me saying that you can't have friends who are, aren't Christian or, or who aren't faithful in their walk with Jesus. No, that's absolutely wrong. Um, but, you know, in, in everything we do, we're called to, you know, lead other people to Christ. So it, it becomes especially helpful when we have friends who are also following Christ and who are also, you know, trying to lead other people to Christ and trying to be an example of, of Christ likeness. Right. So. It, it, it's especially important that we surround ourselves with a community of believers who are also following Christ and who are also trying to be like Christ. And so that's my last one. That's the last tip. But, you know, these are those are the five characteristics you ought to look for in, in a friend. But at the same time, these are the five things you want to be for a friend. Right. It's not just, you know. I want a friend who does all these things, but I'm not kind. I'm not going to call somebody out. I'm not loyal. I'm not consistent and I'm not following Christ. No, we want to be the type of friend for somebody. We want to be a friend to somebody in the type of way that we want them to be a friend to us. Right? So that may be confusing. So let me say it again. Like you want to be a friend for somebody in the same way that you want them to be a friend to you. So those five things, they're not just five characteristics to look for in a friend. They're five characteristics I ought to embrace and become myself uh, and become a friend towards other people. So those, that's it for me. That's all I got. Shepherd Youth, thank you. I love you guys. And I'll hopefully see you soon.